GCC student Jimmy Luenbaugh was there to play the role of an agitated passenger, but ended up leaving with a one-way ticket to the Guam Memorial Hospital. Without going into any, pers any personnel matters, is there anything you can tell us about the actual incident? I understand a uh, person was injured and, um, you know, was there any issue? Was there, is there anything you can tell us about um, his injuries or how they occurred? Um, it's, it's premature to draw conclusions. It, it's preliminary to draw conclusions at this time. And I want to point out that there is a, a concurrent, independent, ongoing investigation uh, being conducted by the Guam Police Department. Lumabao alleges he was assaulted by airport police. He was treated for a broken nose, broken clavicle, and several bruises. After being released from GMH, Lumabao filed an assault complaint with Guam police. This while the airport was conducting its own investigation. Airport Executive Manager Mary Torres told the airport board during their meeting Thursday that more than 60 participants in last month's disaster drill were interviewed and proceeded to provide an account of what led to Lumabao's injuries. Although she couldn't release too many details of the investigation that's still ongoing, Torres does admit that the officers used the correct level of force that they were trained to do. But upon my preliminary review, um, I, I will, I will, I can say that it appears that the level of force that our officer um, performed is consistent with the use of force continuum that they're trained to perform by the police academy in their line of duty. Um, it also appears from my uh, initial review of the report that the, the participant was apprehended by our police officer after repeated orders to stop were ignored by the participant. Um, and it appears also that um, the injuries the participants sustained were, were during the uh, apprehension okay, phase. So. Although the airport is not releasing the investigation report in a press release issued Monday, it stated Lumabao's injuries were unfortunate and the result of an aberration from the planned exercise and that the airport is taking the allegations against its employees very seriously. But like the release, Torres wouldn't say much else to the board. We did initiate an administrative investigation uh, in connection with any alleged personnel um, wrongdoings. And so insofar as, as, as the aspect of, of uh, the personnel matters are concerned, it is also an ongoing matter. And uh, I can't discuss uh, what action I may take against employees. Luma Bao, in the meantime, has hired an attorney and has requested for a copy of the investigation report, which has been denied by the airport. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.